Let's pull out the gloves, my darling, because Laka and Pothos are a hard combination indeed. Oh, I think it's the pothos. I need to dust it. Oh, I could dust it with my gloves. I actually do really, really like, and I may have them listed in my, um, just so y'all know, in the description below, I try to list everything I talk about. Dusting gloves are thicker, but the tip of the day is dusting gloves. They are awesome for cleaning your plants in a hurry. Um, and you can kind of get your fingers around the leaves, see your pothos. Um, and I'm going to group the Philodendron Brazil. Any kind of floofy, fluffy plant that is... Okay, so if you're new here and you or you just subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. I can be rather annoying, so I really appreciate it. However, um, I just want to let you know I do not post every day. I cannot post every day, but... This is March, and if you've been plant shopping, you'll notice there are lines and people and crowds in the nurseries. I had to stand in line to check out the other day, and I'm like, who are all these people? And the parking lot, I had to fight for a spot. Um, I will be going back to one video a week, but I'm gonna link all of these videos together so that you can watch them if you have questions about each kind of plant that I have. I'm trying to put all of the plants that I have into LECA, if this is your first time here. I'm going to, the next upcoming episodes are going to be cactus and succulents, ficus, hoyas, alocasias and anthuriums will be in one show. Philodendrons part one and part two because I have quite a few philodendrons. Probably the plant tour would just take one whole episode. And so if there's any plant category I did not include in here and you would like to see it, please leave that down in the comments below. I would love to cover your plants. I didn't put calatheas in there because I only have a couple of calatheas in Leca. I cannot provide the humidity in my environment. I refuse to buy a huge humidifier. A collectible plants, I want them to be just one plant in a space decorating. So mine is more interior design, decorating. If you like that idea, definitely stay tuned. Definitely subscribe, honey. We've got some really good stuff going on here. So pothos, um, let's create the perfect ambiance. If you don't have any plant, you need a pothos. Um, they're cheap. I love that they're cheap and I love that they grow quickly and I love that they um, you can cut it off and propagate it in water and make a beautiful display out of it. Just there's unending reasons why anyone would have a pothos and have every kind of flavor of pothos. I love them all and the philodendron, the micans, the brazil. All your comment on the adansoni. I did the adansoni video yesterday, if this is your first time here, and I forgot to mention a very important thing with the adansoni. They hate nutrients. Very many nutrients at all, immediately you get mad. Black leaves, yellow leaves, PO'd leaves. Do not add nutrients for a while. Now, I love this. Jen J in the comments down below. Definitely comment below if you have tips or tricks for me. I feel like I have so much more to learn. So if you feel like there's more that I should have said, definitely comment below. We can all learn from it. Her ad in Sony in September, she split hers. Smart girl. I did not do that. Um, Lekka and dirt. The one in Lekka has taken off, is doing amazing. The one in dirt, not so much. So she's going to move the dirt to Lekka, but she was waiting for the spring. Definitely add in Sony. If you want to transfer it, do it now or in April, but if not, just wait another year. Um, okay, so she, hers took off. It's done great, but no nutrients. Purified water from September through March. Sister, you are doing awesome. It is very hard for us plant parents to stay away and to not give nutrients. And it's done really, really well. She's going to just now introduce Super Thrive. Hello, I am such a Super Thrive ho. I do it on every plant within two seconds of taking them out of the pot. So really a lesson for me, because I did really heavily spray that Ad Sony with Super Thrive, forgetting about the nutrient issue. So 
no nutrients. If you're doing your add-in Sony, no nutrients, just wait, let it transfer and add the nutrients one drop per gallon at a time. All right. Let's get back to Pothos. Let me put my white gloves back on because this is a white glove drama mama plant. Now, I want to say something about the pothos and dirt. dirt. You don't want the water to rush through the roots. Like, I love just putting plants in the shower and turning it on. Pothos don't like that. They don't like the feeling of water going over the roots. And I'm just guessing the feeling part because I don't know what it is. But if you just put water in there or you bottom water the pothos and just let it, like, think it's in charge of its water system and it's just pulling the water up by itself in dirt. I'm not talking about Lekka yet. It's gonna be so much happier and it will not get as many yellow leaves when you water it. You put it into Lekka. I have killed 40% of pothos putting in them into Lekka. Now, to be fair, when you first start transferring plants, you think, oh, my most expensive plant is the scariest one to transfer, and my cheapest plant is gonna be the easiest to transfer. No, no, no. There can be a $250 plant that you have that will love being transferred, it will grow like crazy, and it will think it's a landed in heaven coming to your house. I wait until it's extremely dry, I shake it, I get as much dirt off as I can. I don't wash it. I don't rinse it. I don't do any of that stuff. I place it down close to the bottom, an inch of Lekka and then roots, and I pile all of the Lekka on top. And then I fill the cash pot with a little bit of water and I let the water rise and pull up into the roots. And then, um, if I'm smart and I remember it's a pothos, I pour off extra water and then I wait a couple days. Well, I wait until pothos tell you when they're dry, their leaves will kind of like faint. Like this one, this is a good example. This is a philodendron in Brazil. I just transferred it. You can tell it looks sad. It looks depressed. It even has, now this is not this is from wet. This is a rotten leaf. This is rotting right here. So this is root, it's getting a little bit of root rot. It's a little depressed. Um, but when I open it up and I look inside, the Lekka that I see, there's just some dampness. So I'm gonna wait three days until it really looks depressed. And then just water it from the bottom and in about three weeks, it's gonna be fine if you continue doing that little system. I don't do much about the dirt on the top. If there's dirt stuck in on the top, sometimes I'll just take tweezers and just pinch out a tweezer at a time. It really likes its home. Um, and that's why pothos do so well when they get re root bound. They just keep growing and growing and growing. If you didn't know it, um, you can cut pothos off at the bottom and if you're trying to propagate something bigger, like a ficus or something that's hard to propagate, just stick a piece of your pothos in the water with your ficus or your other plant that's propagating and the roots will grow about twice as fast. I would never poo poo a pothos. I love them. So, but they are kind of a pain to, you just have to be very attentive when they transfer. Some people are like, oh, it transferred so easily for me. Not for me. I killed several of them, both hosts, but I love them even more adapted to Lekka. If you forget about them in dirt, um, your time is shorter. If they're in Lekka and I, I have kind of a good watering system and, and they're drinking water, I can go almost a month between waterings. And so I'm gonna put this pothos on the screen. It was $15 at Lowe's. I went ahead and trained it here in the Lekka and now I'm moving plants to our office building. This is it in the office. It did awesome. You'll enjoy this video. I hope y'all have lots of pothos love in your home. If you don't have a pothos, you need one. They're just so fluffy and fun and fast growing and just very communicative. They tell you when they're thirsty, which we all love, right? But they are a little drama-ish when it comes to um, 
Teleka. So I hope you're enjoying this series. We only have about um, a week left in the series of everyday binging March into semi-hydro month, and then we'll go back to regular scheduling and your bell won't be dinging quite so much. So I hope you enjoy this. Love y'all. Stay hydrated. Be the first in line at the plant shop in the mornings. Go early. Love you. Bye-bye.